I'm Pippa Oakeshott, Professor of General Practice at St George's University of London. This study of walking and living independently in 117 people with spina bifida is published in the journal Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. And these are two children with spina bifida who were in the study. Spina bifida affects the nerves of the spinal cord and can lead to difficulty walking, bladder and bowel problems, hydrocephalus, that's water on the brain, which can cause a big head like these two children have, and learning difficulties. But we already know you can tell right from birth which babies with spina bifida are likely to do best just by using a simple pin. Of babies who can feel a pin prick below the knee, over half will survive to the age of 50, compared with less than a quarter of those who can't feel a pin prick. But what makes this study personal is that it was mostly done by my mother, Jill Hunt, who followed up 117 babies with spina bifida for 50 years, helped more recently by myself, my sister, Dr. Alison Poulton, and statistician, Fiona Reed. And this is a picture of Jill Hunt receiving her Cambridge doctorate for this research at the age of 90. What did we find out? We found that the percentage of people with spina bifida who could walk at least 50 metres fell from about half at the age of nine to a quarter at the age of 50. And this was mainly due to their health getting worse as they got older and to putting on weight. But surprisingly, the proportion who lived independently in the community improved with time. Half of the adults with spina bifida lived independently in the community at the age of 50, compared with only a quarter at the age of 25. And this was mainly due to those who were less disabled surviving longer. Living independently in the community was also more common in those who'd never had raised pressure in their brain. So to conclude, this unique 50-year study of 117 babies with spina bifida showed that while walking got worse as they got older, those who survived to the age of 50 were more likely to live independently. <laughs>